Now that the inlet has cooled and depressurized, I'll show you how to replace the inlet septum, liner, and o-ring. Some companies replace these on a daily or weekly basis depending on the number of samples they run. You'll need the wrench that came with your GC, tweezers, and the replacement consumables. During the procedure, avoid handling the clean consumables with your bare hands. Oil from your skin can cause extra peaks on your chromatogram. You'll need gloves to do this. Make sure they're lint-free and powder-free. Okay, here we go. Loosen the septa retainer nut. Use your tweezers to remove the septum from the retainer nut. Remember now, do not gouge or scratch the interior of the septum head. Firmly place the new septum into the fitting. Install the septum retainer nut finger tight. Tighten the septum nut until the C-ring is about one millimeter above the nut. Over tightening the septum nut can cause contamination from the syringe, coring of the septum, and depositing pieces into the inlet. Next, we'll replace the liner and the O-ring. Slide your locking tab forward Lift the septum retaining assembly straight up and away from the inlet to avoid chipping or breaking the liner. Loosen your O-ring from the seal of the surface with your tweezers. Grasp the liner with tweezers and pull it out. Inspect the surface of the gold seal for graphite or rubber septum contamination. If required, replace the gold seal. Clean the inlet if there's visible or suspected contamination. Clean the O-ring residue from the seal surface. Slide a new O-ring onto the replacement liner. Return the liner into the inlet, pushing it all the way until the liner contacts the gold seal. Line up the tab on the bottom of the septum assembly with the slots on the insert assembly and push down to connect. Slide the locking tab to the back. Turn on the inlet. Allow the inlet and the column to purge with carrier gas for 15 minutes before heating the inlet or the column. Restore the analytical method. If you keep track of this maintenance, record it in a logbook or LabAdvisor software. Some of our GCs include counters that you can reset. 